first, kid. Hands first. Give me some angles. Give me some angles, kid. Drive in, Asher. Drive in. Drive in. Freaks. Freaks. Asher, come in with hands. Freak your own kid to follow. Bring him forward and back to last. Good hips. Turn him. Lift him. Pass guard. Pass guard, Asher. Give me a pass. Pass to me. Hands off the mat. Hands off the mat, kid. Pass. Hands off the mat, Asher. There. Now give me some separation. Come on, Asher. Pull around to him. Hey, Ash, turn him into the cage where you can crunch him up a little bit. Come on, Asher. Hey, drive him in. Give me a kickstand, Ash. Get your hands out. Give me a kickstand. Drive him back. Turn him. Turn him. Turn him, Ash. Give me a kickstand. Hands off the mat. Control his hands. Control his hands right now, Ash. Hand fight and give me a kickstand. Get up, Asher. Kick his leg. There you go. Kick him. Kick him, Asher. There. Keep going. Get on him. Get in on him. Go in on him, Asher. No. Get out of the kicking range and go in. Pressure right now. Right now. Go right after him. Asher, get closer. Get in on him. There. Now. Body, body, body. Come on, Asher. Come on, Asher. Get it down. Get in on him. Give me a faint, kid. Just faint your way in. Go, go, go. Stand up is, is something else, but I'm gonna tell you, Asher's tough, man. Thompson switching it up. All right, sorry if you guys missed the early moments of this round, but a fire banger here in this first round from Justin Thompson and Asher Frederick. Great job by Justin Thompson to get them underhooks in, man. His his takedown defense is really good, especially against a collegiate wrestler in, in Asher Frederick. Absolutely. And you see Frederick here leaning on Justin Thompson, trying to make him carry all the weight. Good head positioning, too, by Asher Frederick. And Th Thompson has that left side underhook, but it's not elbow deep. So it's not quite what you need. Right, to get it turned. He's almost got him turned, but like you said, the elbow's not deep, the underhook is not deep in. What Great a round. hell of a first round, man. man. And we're sorry that you guys had to miss that for the technical difficulties, but nonetheless, I, I'm sure that's going to carry on in the second round. This is a hell of a fight here between Justin, Th Justin Thompson and Asher Frederick. Yeah, man, Asher Frederick was coming into the corner. You can see his abdomen's red from them body kicks by Justin Thompson, but it showed Asher can take a punch, man. He took some good punches, some good kicks. He's a tough kid, and he has some kicks of his own. He's not just looking to get this to the ground. But I feel like he needs to if he's going to get the win. But we just saw, and you, you marked it out, Alex Hacker, that Justin Thompson's guard is slick. And that was a slick armbar attempt that he had against Asher Frederick in the first round. Yeah, a fully locked in armbar. And Frederick just picks Thompson up and slams him. Thompson with no choice but to let, let the submission go. A very slick guard. When you're fighting Justin Thompson, you're not safe anywhere at all, whether you're on top, bottom, neutral, defer this, that, or the other. He's always dangerous, as is Asher Frederick. Yeah, he is, man. Oh, Asher Frederick's pumped up in his corner, yelling. His coach is getting them all pumped up. He's loving this crap, man. He's loving it. He's ready for the second round to begin, and so am I. So am I. Let's get it going, man. And Justin Thompson pacing over there in the B2 Digital Blue Corner. Seconds out. We'll free Rob Mooney locked in with these animals. Second of a potential three rounds here. Touch of the gloves. Frederick coming out. Southpaw. Thompson Orthodox. I'll tell you, man, Asher's got some fast hands on him. He's got a really quick one, too, that he's been throwing. Oh, that head kick. Good block by Asher Frederick to, to block the head kick. The length appears to be giving Frederick problems so far in this fight. It is. Well, he's getting caught with encounters when, he, when he's coming in. Right here, he got in clean, and he needs to keep it right here. But he ate one to, to come in. But he you'll, did. But you'll do that. Right. I mean, you're, you know, you're willing to, to, to 
take one to get where you need to be, and that's exactly what he's done. They're fighting risk control now on that right side. There he goes with the underhook, but he's got to jack the underhook up. Good job by Ashton Frederick to keep Justin Thompson's back up against the cage panel. If I was Justin Thompson on that left side, I would go pummeling in, trying to get the underhook to get double unders. He's worried about the knee. He's blocking the knee there on the right side of Asher Frederick. Well, I mean, this is the thing if you're Asher Frederick. You don't want to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Justin Thompson, the much taller and longer of the two fighters. And you work so hard to get this position with Thompson now on the canvas, and you just don't want to give it up after working so hard for it. And this takedown could potentially secure this round for Asher Frederick. That's right, but look on this left side. Justin Thompson's trying to control that arm. Asher Frederick's got to get his arms on Justin Thompson's uh, chest, man. He can't have them hands sitting on the floor like that. We already saw how fast his armbar attempts are. Right Asher's on. coach was just yelling yeah. to get his right arm out, and I saw that too, I'm telling you. Full guard here Good job. for Justin Thompson again. And you're, I'm telling you, man, you're just not safe here. I mean, you know, in the first round, he almost lulled him to sleep right here, and then all of a sudden, boom, there was an armbar attack. Right. Good job by Asher Frederick to posture up. Great Good job. Posture. He's got to bring him down. Yeah, just, Justin Thompson be throwing up kicks right now. I don't know why oh, he's Asher not. Asher Frederick oh, he passes. One. Thompson's hurt. Referee Rob Mooney's looking in, thinking about stopping this fight. Asher Frederick staying busy with the ground and pound. That left hand hurt him, man. Elbows, to, elbows the to the body. Justin Thompson in trouble. Asher Frederick pouring the ground and pound on. Referee Rob Mooney leaning in. Thompson's got to put together some form of intelligent defense. He's got to, man. He's got to strip in, give his back up or something. He can't stay here. Thompson's Referee flat. Rob Mooney's going to call. It. He's tired of seeing it. That's it. Asher Frederick moves to six and one in a tightly contested fight up until it wasn't. Man, great job by Asher Frederick. I tell you what, man, I got to talk to the matchmaker, Hard Rock Higdon. I would love to see this kid come down to Macon, Georgia, February 26th and fight Bimmy Sola for the 135 South title, even though he's from Ohio. That's the way we do things, the B2 Fighting Series, Hacker. And he's making the belt movement there. He wants a belt. We got one for you if you're ready for it, Asher Frederick. My goodness. Six and one. And you see here the ground and pound to the body is what started it all off. And Justin Thompson trying to move his hips there, but the ground and pound was just too much for Justin Thompson to overcome as he drops to four and four. My good. And that's a big test for Asher Frederick to overcome here. No, it is, man. It shows that kid's special because, like you said, we know how good Justin Thompson is. And he ran through him, man. He, I mean, he did. He, he ate everything that Justin Thompson threw at him, and he ran through him. My goodness, what a warrior. And you said at the beginning of that second round, he was loving it, looking forward to continuing this fight. And he got the victory that he so eagerly desired. We're going to wrap this one up. Here is Lance Green for the official decision. B2 Fighting Series fans, your referee, Rob Mooney, has brought a stop to this fight. Two minutes and 50 seconds into round number two. Your winner by TKO due to strikes out of the red corner, Asher Frederick. Asher Shock and Rock Frederick moves to six and one in a hell of a fight.